Would you eat that? No, <laughs> I don't think I would either. But my cat Buffy eats it. <laughs> So what do you do when you have a senior cat that's losing her teeth, but she still needs to eat because she's healthy? I guess she lost her first tooth maybe four or five years ago. We didn't know. I found something on the floor. I wasn't sure what it was. It looked like a tooth. And then later we examined her mouth and we discovered it was hers. And then the second time she rushed into the stairs as she was rushing up the stairs and banged one of her bottom teeth and broke that. She's pretty agile for a senior. And now she's losing one of her back. Her diet is primarily wet canned food. But even now, because she's losing her teeth, it's getting harder for her to eat. So what I've done is I've taken a scoop of that canned food and I've added some warm water. And I'm making a carnivore smoothie for her. I'm hoping that she'll eat at least that much. That's the most she's eaten in one sitting in probably the last couple days, so that's definitely a winner. And how much, again, it's a teaspoon of wet food to approximately a teaspoon to two teaspoons of warm water. Yeah, I have another one that's hungry right now, but I wanted to get in here with a quick update. Buffy's doing a lot better. Uh, part of the issue is that her tooth was loose and while it was loose it was hard for her to eat so by simply adding the water to the canned food really did benefit but she wasn't eating very much and she was hungry so i started adding dehydrated raw liver for those of you who watched my preparing for my upcoming hike video you'll remember that i dehydrated something like 20 pounds of raw liver. I had a lot of extra so I decided to give her about a quarter of a teaspoon to start with and then I started increasing the liver, the dehydrated raw liver, and then I started recognizing that she wasn't getting enough fat which is this next video. And so what this is, I hard boiled an egg and I took the entire egg yolk out of that boiled egg and I mashed it. And then I added a teaspoon. This is raw dehydrated liver that I made myself. And I added a teaspoon to that. And then I added a teaspoon of her regular food. I also add a little bit of extra water to make this a consistency that she doesn't have to chew on it. She can more or less lick it and it's easier for her to digest that way. And the reason being is because when cats get older and they start to lose their teeth, because their mouth gets sensitive, they tend to eat less. And that can contribute to your cat losing weight and more rapidly declining. And I guess this would apply for a dog as well. And when that happens, it's best to move your cat to a wet diet, exclusively wet diet. Do it slowly because the microbiome of a cat's gut, it doesn't do very well to sudden dietary changes, especially the older it gets. So if your cat is currently on dry food and it has mouth sensitivities, mouth issues, then start moving them slowly, transition them to, to wet food. And then as if it has anything to do with oral health, then make certain especially if they're starting to eat less, that you give them more nutritiously dense foods, such as this whole egg yolk that's in here and this teaspoon of dehydrated raw liver. Egg yolk and raw liver are superfoods for your body and for the bodies of other animals that eat meat. By giving it to your cat, your cat's still probably going to eat less, but at each meal, this is now a more nutritiously dense food for them. Because the liver is raw, it's extremely rich in all those essential nutrients for the body. And also the egg yolk adds additional fat. Your cat or dog, if they're eating less, are going to need a little more fat in that one meal and a little less protein because otherwise it's like humans being on the rabbit diet. R-A-B-B-I-T, rabbit diet. It's a high protein, low fat, low carb diet and essentially it leads to starvation. This is all the nutrients that Buffy will need for her diet and typically what she'll do is she'll eat 
she, I guess she's kind of like intermittent fasting is what I've noticed with Buffy. She'll eat this entire bowl and then she might come right back and want an entire bowl. Remember that it's only a teaspoon of this, an egg yolk, and this. And then once she has eaten that, I've noticed that she won't eat until the next day. 